Hey, this is an unboxing for the Artisol D16 Pro. Um, Artisol sent me this and asked me to give it a review, so here we go. This is the tablet itself. I'll just set it aside. This is the stand. Um, this is a bag, I think, for the pen. Oh, this is the power brick with a US plug. Cables. This is a USB cable. HDMI. Spare nibs. Oh, this is a smudge guard. I don't have one of these, so that's cool. The stand. So this is nice. It has little metal legs that hook in like this. I have a Cintiq Companion Hybrid, which just has these little plastic like flaps. Like a, this is a little bit nicer than that. Look at the tablet itself. that this is a mechanical wheel instead of a touch sensitive thing. So we'll do that. So that's what you get in the box. Tablet, cables, smudge guard, spare nibs, pen, and stand. All right, here's the second part of my review of the Artisol D16 Pro. Um, I'm going to just demonstrate it and do a speed painting video, which in my case is going to be a speed sculpting video because I'm more of a 3D artist. Um, it's on the stand. This works pretty well. It feels stable. It doesn't flex at the edges. Um, one thing I like is I have this connected to my laptop, but I don't actually have to use this power adapter because it's getting enough voltage just through the HDMI and USB cable to turn on, which is nice. It means less clutter. Um, and I had to update the firmware and install these drivers. This is the interface for the drivers. You can remap all of these side buttons. I don't see a way to remap the dial on the side. 
um, but you just click these and you can assign them to modifiers or mouse clicks or keyboard shortcuts. Um, you can remap the buttons on the side of this pen here. Um, you can adjust the work area and calibrate everything. And all of this seems to work pretty fine. Um, and I have ZBrush open here, and I'll just show some sculpting brushes. I'm using clay build up here. And I'm just drawing very lightly there. When I go heavier, it builds up farther light build up with a light press and carve in and this seems to work to me it's comparable to what I'm used to on a Cintiq I don't feel like there's any extra lag or anything weird about the pressure sensitivity like it's not jumping up way far and going crazy it feels nuanced and nice um, and the initial activation force is nice I'm not having to press too hard to get an effect like I'm pressing very lightly here and getting a little bit of clay buildup um, I'll try a Damien standard brush So it seems to work pretty well, and again, initial activation force feels good. But yeah, this seems like you could work pretty happily on on this within ZBrush. Um, so I'm gonna do a speed sculpting video of just a head and I think I'm gonna do Stitch from Lilo and Stitch because he's kind of simple to do and everybody probably knows Stitch so okay let's get started on that.
so there's a stitch. I could work on this a little longer and make it a little better. This was under, probably under an hour, but my verdict on this tablet is that it works pretty well. I think you can work pretty happily on this in ZBrush. Um, and, you know, if you're a 3D artist and you want to move to a display tablet like this, um, and you're on a budget, this seems like a pretty viable option. Um, it feels fairly comparable to um, a Cintiq at this size, and it seems to work pretty well. Um, and it has some benefits like not having to use the power adapter, and um, it comes with some extra stuff like this art glove, which is kind of nice. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching my review, and maybe I'll do some more on this guy later.